What's going on, folks? Hope all is doing well. So now in this example number four, we're going to take all four rules that we've learned. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to see how we can apply these to the following uh, statements below. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, check these bad boys out. All right. So the first guy right here, we have uh, log base 6 of 36 m to the power of 5, right? So I'm going to first apply the uh, product rule. And I'm going to go ahead and write this as log base 6 of 36 uh, plus log base 6 of um, m to the power of 5, right? So now I can rewrite this guy <clears throat> as log base 6 to the 6 squared, right? And I can also rewrite this guy. I'm going to move this guy to the front. Uh, which is basically going to be our power rule. So I can write that as 5 uh, log base 6 of um, m. So this can now simplify, and this is now using um, our special properties from 10.3. So this is just going to be 2 right there, plus, and then we just have, we're going to rewrite that little dude. It's 5 log base 6 of m. Cool beans, and there we go. Going to, to this guy right here, I need to first, since this is 9z is all in one radical, I'm going to go ahead and first write this as an exponent. So log base 2 to the power of 9z to the 1 half. And so now I can go ahead and use my power rule and bring the 1 half down. So I'm going to have a half times log base 2 of 9z. And now I can go ahead and use my product rule. So a half, and this is pretty tricky right here, it's nine, it's one half times now the product rule. Not just one half times the first log. So it's going to be nine times the quantity log base two of nine plus log base two of z for zebra or whatever. All right, cool. Now for uh, part C. I first see that I have a quotient, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, write that as uh, two logarithms here. So I'm going to write log base b of 8r squared. And I can do minus log base b of m minus 1. I'm going to just put that in parentheses there so that we know what's going on with that guy. All right, I'm going to just draw a line right here so that we don't get confused that we're not using those guys right there. Sweet. <clears throat> Now here, we have a, a product rule right here, right? So I can rewrite this guy. Actually, let's just do this first. Let's just go ahead and first simplify this guy first. So I can rewrite that as log base b of 8 plus log base b of r squared. And then I can just move my 2 down, right? So I could just say this is log base b of 8 plus 2 times log base b of r. I'm going to go and just leave that there. Now, if you want to deal more with this guy, so we're trying to, we have log of m minus 1. Now, a common mistake is students think that that, that we can use, let me see if I can use that there. Okay, there I go. Students sometimes think that they can use the quotient rule. I mean, I, oh look, I'm subtracting, and it's with a logarithm. But what they don't, what they don't um, realize, though, is that no, that's only true if you have two logarithms of the same base and that we're subtracting. Then we can convert that into one. So really, there's nothing we can do right here. We just leave that alone. So I'm just going to go ahead and just rewrite that right here. Uh, minus, I'm just going to kind of write down here, log base five of m minus one, and that's going to be it for there. So now let's go and check out part D. All right, so at first glance, it kind of looks like we can use the product rule. But the thing is that the product rule doesn't allow for, for coefficients to be um, attached to the, the logarithm. So we have to go ahead and actually use the product or the uh, power rule to rewrite this as uh, log base b of x to the power of 2 plus log base b of y cubed. You see that there? 
Now we can go ahead and write this as our product rule because we have, we're taking the sum of two logarithms with the same base. So that means we can write this as log base b of x squared y cubed. Cool beans. And part e, log base 4 of the quantity 3x plus y. Let's not be fooled right here. We cannot apply the product rule as good as it is. Ding!